Shalom. This week's Sedra is Sedra's Vayigash. Enough is enough. This must have been what Yehuda was feeling as he approached Yosef to give him a piece of his mind. Putting Yehuda and the brothers through a rigmarole of tasks when all the brothers wanted was wheat to bring to their ailing father. This week's Torah portion begins with Yehuda stepping up to Yosef's throne and telling him that Yosef, who he didn't know was Yosef at the time, had put the brothers through enough. After Yehuda finishes his tough talk with Yosef, Hashem recorded Yosef's reaction and the brothers' responses to Yosef. Yosef can no longer control himself, the Torah tells us, before all his attendants. And he cried out, have everyone leave the hall. There was no one else about whom Yosef made himself known to his brothers. His sobs were so loud that the Egyptians could hear. And so the news reached Paro's palace. Yosef said to his brothers, I'm Yosef. Is my father still well? But his brothers could not answer him. They were so shocked in front of Yosef. In his commentary to the brothers' reaction to to Yosef revealing himself, Rashi wrote that the phrase shocked referred to the brothers feeling ashamed out of embarrassment. The Chizkuni took a slightly different approach to explaining the brothers' reaction. The Chizkuni wrote that the brothers were scared and worried about what they did to Yosef. The difference between Rashi and the Chizkuni is interesting. Rashi explained the brothers experiencing shame, while the Cheskuni explained the reaction as fear and worry. Are these feelings different? In the book Masil Sisharim, the author, Rabbi Luzato, connects fear and shame. Included in fear of God, he writes, is submission before God, to feel shame in approaching his service, honoring his commandments, his blessed name, and his Torah. Rabbi Luzato feels shame and fear connected one to another when a person stands before God. And in modern psychology, we find sheer and shame connected as well. Therapist Dr. Brenner wrote, shame and fear often go hand in hand. You're afraid of being seen for who you are. And at the same time, you fear being alone. You're afraid your damaged goods doomed to a life of misery. The brothers had been jealous of Yosef and the resentment towards him brought them to sell him. While at first the brothers justified their action, they soon realized the error of their ways. By one point, they recognized their mistake. It was too late to correct their sin and shame set in. When Yosef revealed himself, their shame and fear came to the fore and they couldn't respond to Yosef, they were shocked. Human beings err. It is as they say, human to err. Regret, shame, and fear are natural reactions to mistakes. A person can experience these emotions, but can't allow them to rule their lives. Like the brothers eventually recovered, so too must we recover from shame and fear from our errors and lead productive lives. What an important message and something that we see from our Rishonim's commentary on this week's Sedra. Shabbat Shalom.